Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay Will. So about a week ago, it's actually been about six days actually, uh, this phone got Android Pie. Now this is my Xiaomi Mi A1, and I'm being told by some of you guys that the Mi A2 just officially got it. So I will check my Mi A2 Lite and see if it hit that too. Uh, but how's the phone been? Now I've just kind of been scrolling through, just using this phone as is, just kind of testing it out to see if I could find any bugs or anything. And honestly, this will be a very short video. No, there's there's nothing going on with it, man. Uh, but I will tell you some things that I I um, I have it on the you know the Pixel Three obviously has Android Pie. So comparing these phones right here, you know it's it's strange that this phone could run so good, uh, even though it's an older phone. Um, it, it's probably one that some people wouldn't even consider buying right now, uh, but. I think this phone is definitely hot, man. It's, 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 it's worth a second look now because, you know, this came out last year, uh, just a little over a year ago, and um, this phone is still nice, man. You've got the 12 megapixel setups on the rear. You've got the four gigs of RAM. You've got a Snapdragon 625 with a 30, 30 80 million power battery. Now, those specs aren't too far off from this phone when you think about it, because this has four gigs of RAM and this has four gigs of RAM. They're both 5.5 inch displays. You know, obviously this is the newer style. Look how much different it looks. This phone looks huge next to this phone. <laughs> That's just crazy, man. It's crazy. You know, the Pixel is, to me, you know, the better of these two phones, ultimately, because it's offering a whole bunch more. However, um, this is a nice phone still to grab, man. It's actually still kind of expensive, too. Uh, you know, you can get it for under 300 bucks, depending on where you look. If you want it brand new, you'll play, pay close to two, two fifty, maybe 300 depending on who's trying to sell it. Uh, but, you know, when you consider this, this has a 1080p display. This has a 1080p display. You know, they both have Android Pie. It's an Android One device, so you know you're gonna get the updates. You know what I'm saying? It took a while to get here, but it got here. You know, but this has an SD card slot. You know, and it is it is just really really good. So I'll bring this to the surface because I wanted to kind of compare these two uh, and just see you know what you guys would think. So um, you know, just looking at these phones right here. You can see the snappiness uh, of both phones, but you know, is the 625 a bad processor? I would say the 625 is a tried and true processor. Uh, this has a Snapdragon 845, which obviously is going to chug along better, you know, for a bunch of different reasons. However, this phone right here is good. So I'm just going to pop open a few things here. Let's see how they load them. So you get some sense of, you know, hey, this is how fast it's gonna be. And, you know, which one updated correctly? Obviously the Pixel 3 did, because that's the last post that I actually made. Uh, so let's go into another app here. Let's go to Twitter. Now, even though these have four gigs of RAM, uh, you can clearly see that the Pixel 3 is updating and or opening the app faster, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but does that make it worth the price three times the cost? Uh, yeah, probably not. Uh, but let's see here. Let's open something else up. Let's go to Instagram. I think I might have hit it a little bit faster on there. Uh, but still, this isn't too far behind in performance, so to speak, with the Pixel. I can actually turn off the gestures on here, like at the bottom down here, uh, because this has, you know, the hard keys. You know, so if I go into settings, and then uh, I forgot where I found it at. I think it's under display. Is it under there? Gestures? Uh, no. Let's see here. Gestures. Here we go. Yeah. See, I could I could turn on the gestures here if I wanted to, which is a huge plus, man. I mean, but you lose real estate, so you might as well. If you have hard keys, you might as well just keep them off, right? But overall, man, you know, this this me a me a one is it's chugging right along man it is a fast phone you know it may not you know open apps as fast as the pixel 3 uh but when you consider you know what you're getting here it's a lot now i'm gonna go and just for fun i'm gonna compare these cameras so you know you tell me what you think about the cameras uh and then we'll close out this video but i wanted to give an update on android pie because there's not really much to report on this it's 
flowing right along. I don't have any issues with it, but I did want to show it to you next to the Pixel. So let's take a look at the cameras and then we'll get out of here. All right, guys, so here's the Mi A1 running Android Pi. Uh, and here's the Pixel 3 running Android Pi. These are the cameras. Both of these cameras record in 4K, but for the sake of time and not making this too long and drawn out, I'm just doing 1080p. You can look at the skies on both of these things. Which one do you think is, is better? Right. I can tell you just looking through the viewfinder, the Pixel 3 is much more accurate. Like if you look at that grass, the grass isn't as blown out, at least through the viewfinder. It, it looks that way, but I'll see officially when I get on the computer. But the colors seem to be more accurate on the Pixel 3. But the Mi A1 is not a chump. Let's take a look at my signs down here. Take a look at the football. Yeah, it, it just looks like the Pixel 3 has much more accurate color representation of what it really is like outside. Uh, and that's just the truth. The sky looks great on both. Uh, I, I prefer both of them, but the Pixel 3 is just a little bit more accurate than the uh, Mi A1. But there you have it. Those are the cameras. All right, guys, so, you know, there you have it, man. Um, you know, what do you think about the cameras compared next to the Pixel cameras, man? I mean, you got to you gotta decide, you know, which, which, what you think is good for you. But there's a lot of phones out there that are getting Pi. And um, these older phones, I should say, that are getting Pi. Uh, and, the, you know, Google is asking a lot for that phone right there. Uh, but And also, check this out. The wallpaper. These are the same wallpapers. But you see how much more I'm getting on the Pixel, which is strange because of the resolution. You know what I'm saying? And also, the Pixel has obviously uh, a much more beautiful display. Uh, even though these both 1080p, 1080p, uh, the Pixel's display, just displaying this wallpaper, looks fantastic. Uh, but you know, that's not to say that this one is bad. Uh, but nonetheless, I like them both, man. And uh, the Mi, A, the Mi A2 should be getting uh, Android Pie as well. Uh, but, um, what do you guys think about a phone like this? Would you grab something like this to say, now that you know it has Pi, and then you also, and, and, and just for reference, this does have LTE for the U.S. and everything, so, you know, I've, it, it works good. I've, I haven't had a problem with this. Uh, would you pick up a phone like this, either the Mi A2 or the Mi A2 Lite or the Mi A1, knowing the price of the Pixel is, um, like three times the cost? Would you grab it? If you, if, you know, if you just want an Android Pie, you don't have to be on a tight budget or anything, but would you grab a phone like this? You get the older resolution, you get f uh, freaking awesome cameras on here. So what do you think, man? It's your man, Jay. I'll see you in the next one. Leave a comment.